the Aris Technites Green Fest runs out of ASA. So quite a number of things. <laughs> and then now we are in our government So let me come on here and let's see. So we have an impossible amount of information to do in an impossible amount of time. So I'm going to do my very best and I'm also going to talk really, really fast. So if at any point I go over something too quickly, please just let me know. Uh, to give you a little bit of background about myself, my name is Zachary. I'm the Chief of Staff here at Associated Students. So I work with all of our executive officers in making sure that their goals are getting accomplished. So we're going to start off by what is AS? When I say AS, what do you think of? Student body, okay. What else? Leadership. Leadership, government. All right, you're exactly right. At its core, that's what it is. Associated Students is actually one of the four auxiliaries of the university. So along with the Research Foundation, the Campanile Foundation, and Aztec Shops. We, are, however, are the only student directive. That means that students who run and operate Associated Students with the support of full-time faculty, not vice versa. So we actually hire over a thousand part-time students every single year with about only 95 full-time faculty. As you'll see on the top, there's a very textbook definition of what Associated Students is. Um, and we also have a variety of different responsibilities. So the easiest analogy I've ever heard is think of AS as its own mini government. And what we are is we are representing you, but we also have the obligation and the honor to provide services for you. So AS in total provides over, like I said, a thousand part-time student jobs, about 400 volunteer opportunities, and we manage and direct eight different facilities on and off campus to really, really make sure that we are promoting campus community. So AS is actually in charge of the Union, the Aztec Recreation Center, the Aquaplex, SDSU Children's Center, and all of this information is on here too, just so you know. Um, Aquaplex, Aztec Recreation Center, SDSU Children's Center, Scripps Cottage, Mission Bay Aquatic Center, California Coast Credit Union Open Air Theater, and then Vieja Serena. So whether, I mean, how many of you have been to a game at Vieja Serena? So you've probably seen students working there. Those are all AS staff members. How many of you have taken a water sports class? No one? Ah, we have to take a water sports class. Paddleboarding, it sounds like a lot of fun, but just so you know, it is a workout. I promise you. So making sure that we're doing very different things for our students as well and that we're addressing the needs of students that maybe weren't thought of originally. So, for example, the Children's Center. That was a need that was later addressed because we do have students here on campus who have little ones, but what if we didn't have the Children's Center? Would they be able to come with a little one at home? So, kind of to briefly go over some of these things, what does AS offer? Leadership, employment, advocacy, and community. Sustainability. We are very, very big on sustainability in AS. This union is LEAD Platinum. Does anyone know what LEAD stands for? Okay. Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It is one of the highest certifications for sustainability that you can receive, and we are actually going for a double LEAD Platinum, which would make us not only one of the first uh, buildings in, or one of the first rounds of buildings in the world to get double lead platinum, but the first union at a university to be double lead platinum certified. And then the rest of our facilities are all on track to be lead certified by 2020. So there's four or five different levels of lead certification you can acquire. Like I said, and I will repeat it again and again and again, we are your voice and this is an opportunity for you to make change. And we have some examples of changes that students have made using associated students. The first one, have any of you heard of campus program funding? All right, someone shout out your favorite student organization. Mecha. All right, so say Mecha has a big event that they want to plan right at the end of the year. 
Campus program funding, what it would provide is Metro can get up to $3,000 every single year as supplemental funding for your event. So say you're having kind of maybe a, oh, I don't know, what, it, what's, what kind of events does Metro do? Um, we do the high school conferences. Okay, so high school conferences. I believe you already get separate funding, potentially? I believe so. I believe so. So these are events that, would, that have a couple stipulations. They have to be open to all SDSU students. Um, you have to put AS's logo on your marketing material, and everything kind of has to be time and date specific. But like I said, if you want to have an event and your student organization just needs $3,000, we're here. The next big one, campus bike lanes. A group of students came to AS and said, we need this for our safety. And there they are. Study abroad. Have any of you studied abroad yet? Yes, where'd you go? Did you get an AS Study Abroad Scholarship? No. No? Okay. So when you're going around to study abroad, please look into the AS Study Abroad Scholarship because we actually have $400,000 allotted every year just for people who are studying abroad. Because once again, students came to associate students and said, this is a service you need to be providing. And then, as you I'm sure can have heard, the union was actually a student initiative when they were going, when they were talking about rebuilding and renovating the old Aztec Center, they just said, why don't we start from scratch? The costs are astronomical for what the companies are asking to renovate. Let's put it to a student vote and see, do you want to help pay for a new building? And let's build it right. Because quite frankly, the university had outgrown the Aztec Center. So now we have this brand new $104 million building that is the housing of a lot of student organizations, the housing of student events, and really what we're trying to do is make this the campus living room. Um, and then, so Vieja Serena, the art, the Opraplex, and actually even the Center for Intercultural Relations were all student-led initiatives. Couple fun facts, open meetings are the best meetings, so we actually follow something called the Gloria Romero rules, which says that, you know what, you want to go to a campus-led council meeting, you're welcome to. They cannot turn you away. Any AS board committee or commission meeting that you want to go to, you can go. And that is how we get a lot of our people to volunteer, is just to get their foot in the door, because we do not ever turn anyone away from our meetings. The only exclusion to that is the board of directors can turn people away if they give them some of the confidential uh, material, but they have to post that three days beforehand and blah, 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 blah. Uh, you would know whether or not you were allowed into the board of directors. Everyone else, you're there. Prebis, I have heard Prebis pronounced Prebis, Presby's, uh, every kind that you could possibly imagine to say that. It is pronounced Prebis, and we do take our pride in making sure we do pronounce his name right, especially with his recent passing. Um, talked about the LEED certification. A couple fun facts, Kevin Faulkner, the current San Diego mayor, was an AS president. Uh, State Senator Ricardo Lara was an AS Executive Officer, and then the CEO for the San Diego and Imperial Valley American Red Cross is also was an AS President. And then this is, I think, some of people's most favorite fun fact, is the hospitality suite in the California Coast Credit Union Open Air Theater was actually built in 1985 for Madonna. She basically said, you don't have a hospitality suite, I ain't coming, so we built one for Madonna. Uh, so are there any questions I can answer thus far? Because I know I've just been spitting information at you. Yes? I'm wondering if you scholarship applies for the study abroad. So if mm -hmm. you study abroad multiple times, are you only eligible to receive it once? I honestly do not have the answer for that question. However, if you contact our front desk, they would be more than happy to put you in touch with our finance department who could answer that. Um, I would, I mean, I would think that you could apply for it as many times as you study abroad, uh, but they would be able to give you the definite answer. And then on the back of your sheet, there's also the AS structure. So this kind of gives an overview of how AS operates, what our boards and committees looks like, and all of the different opportunities that you can either participate in yourself, or maybe a first year is on campus and they don't quite know what to get involved with, but you hear that they're very passionate about community service. Well, why not the Community Service Commission with Associated Students? And what I actually want to do is, because I know a lot of you have not been before, is I want to take you by a quick community campus life 
council meeting and then up to the roof. Have any of you been to the roof? Okay, so a couple. Look, for some reason it's like this almost like the secret room that people have to see. So and then if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know.